Saturday. Yes, we did. Sorry we missed you yesterday. Busy on trying to figure out how we're going to get everybody into the church. <laughs> so, <laughs> or uh, when we open back up. So that'll be interesting. Mm -hmm. Unless I read here. I will. Okay. What are we going to sing? How about Christ our Lord's risen of the day, the first two of it? God, come to my assistance. Lord, Lord make, make haste, haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Christ our Lord is risen today. Hallelujah. Sons of men and angels say, and triumphs high. Alleluia. Sing ye hymns and earth reply. Alleluia. May the stone that watched the seal. Alleluia. Christ has burst the gates of hell. thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning, and your truth in the watches of the night, on the ten-string lyre and the lute, with the murmuring sound of the harp. Your, your deeds, deeds, O Lord, have, have made, made me glad. glad. For the, the works of your hands, hands I shout with joy. O Lord, have great are your works. How deep, How deep are your designs. designs. The, the foolish man cannot know this, and the, the fool cannot understand. understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil thrive. They are doomed to be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. See how your, how your enemies perish, while doers of evil are scattered. To, to me, me you give, give the wild ox strength. strength. You anoint me with the purest oil. oil. My, my eyes look in triumph on my foes. My ears heard Lord gladly of their fall. The, the just will flourish like the palm tree, and the grow like the Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God, still bearing fruit when they are old, still full of sap, still green, to proclaim that the Lord is just. In him, my rock, there is no wrong. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. How wonderful are your works, O Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will pour cleansing water upon you. Alleluia. I will take you away from among the nations, gather you from all the foreign lands, and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from your impurities, and all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put, I'll put my, my spirit, spirit within you, and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your fathers. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I will pour cleansing water upon you. Alleluia. All things are yours, and you are Christ's, and Christ is God's. Alleluia. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Your majesty is praised praise above, above the heavens, on the lips of children and babes. You have found praise to all your, your enemy, to the silence of foes and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arranged, what is man that you should keep him in mind, mortal man that you care for him? You have made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him, gave him power over the works of your hands. 
but all, all things, things but his sheep. sheep. All of them, sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air and fish that make their way through the waters. How I'll great is your name, name, O Lord, of God, God through all, all the earth. earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will be forever. Amen. All things are yours, and your Christ, Christ, and Christ is God. Alleluia. Let us pray. Almighty Lord, how wonderful is your name. You have made every creature subject to you. Make us worthy to give you service. A reading from Paul's letter to the Romans. None of us lives as his own master, and none of us dies as his own master. While we live, we are responsible to the Lord, and when we die, we die as his servants. Both in life and in death, we are the Lord's. That is why Christ died and came to life again, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. He hung upon the cross for us. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord, the Lord is, is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. When the Prince of Pastors comes again, you will receive from him an unfading crown of glory. Alleluia. Blessed, Blessed be the, the Lord, the God, God of Israel. He has come, come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born in the house of his servant David, through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to bring his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When the Prince of Pastors comes again, you will receive from him an unfading crown of glory. Hallelujah. Christ has made known to us the life that lasts forever. With faith and joy, let us cry out to him, saying, Lord, may your resurrection bring us riches of your grace. Eternal Shepherd, look on your flock as it rises from sleep. Feed us, Feed us with the water of life and the bread from heaven. Keep us safe from wolf and hireling. And then make us faithful in listening to your voice. You are present to all who preach your gospel and give power to their words. And make, make us be preachers of your resurrection by our holiness of life. Be our great joy that no one can take from us. So that, that we, we may reject sin and sadness and reach out to eternal life. life. So what else shall we pray? As we are opening the churches for people very soon, that everything will go well and God will guide us in every step that we take. We pray to the Lord. Lord, may your resurrection bring us the riches of your grace. We pray for the elderly of our parish, and we also pray for those who uh, have a compromised immune system, that, uh, that they know that our prayers are with them as we slowly make preparations for return to Mass, and that we that they will find comfort in the fact that we do have masses set aside for the elderly, we pray. Lord, Lord may your resurrection bring us the riches of your grace. And for your intentions now. Lord, 
we pray. Lord, Lord may your, your resurrection bring us the riches of your, your grace. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O God, who in the celebration of Easter graciously give to the world the healing of heavenly remedies, show benevolence to your church, that our present observance, observance may benefit us for eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to God. God. I did get a, a a message in my email the other day, and uh, it was asking us to please remember uh, the elderly if we would consider setting aside a mass. And actually, that was one of the the directives that we consider. And so, we're thinking about it this time. the uh, The seven thirty mass on Friday will uh, be a good place for that uh, for the elderly. And uh, also, uh, either the 5.30 on Saturday or the 7.30 on Sunday. We haven't made a decision on that yet. If you want to give us some feedback, uh, we'd be happy to have it as far as which of those two Masses you would like. Thank you again for being with us. I uh, hope you have a beautiful weekend. And uh, thank God for the, uh, the sun is out, even though it will be a little cool today. Yep, wonderful Mother's Day on oh, Sunday. Yes. Mother's Day on Sunday. Yeah. Everybody will be with their mother. Mm -hmm.